or can throw anything at us, but among the most dangerous types of precipitation is freezing rain. It comes down and covers everything on the ground, which means everything turns into a sheet of ice. It can not only create slip and slide fun, but it can also create challenges with power outages. So as we talk about this, how does it form? First off, we usually have at least some sort of cold air, enough to at least start with snow high up in the atmosphere where the precipitation is forming. Either way, it hits into this deeper warm layer where the snow completely melts into a raindrop. And from there, it continues to fall as rain. Then it gets to the ground. It could be the lowest level of the atmosphere here that is cooler and just cold enough on the surface of any structure or any op, um, item on the ground. It could be tree branches. It could be also the pavement on roadways. It can even be the grass. If that is below freezing, that water will freeze to it. So it actually becomes a sheet of ice. And that's why it is so dangerous and so challenging too to get out and about in. The impacts of freezing rain come from slick roads and sidewalks, and that can be just the smallest amount of precipitation. Doesn't take much to get that thin glaze of ice and all of a sudden you're sliding down the sidewalk as opposed to walking on it. But when you start to get that ice build up time after time as it continues to rain on really cold surfaces, then you will see that ice thickness go up. And as that ice thickness goes up, it's really heavy. So for power lines, for example, as we build that ice thickness on the power lines, it can weigh too much and actually cause them to break. So between a quarter to a half inch of ice can lead to a lot of power outages and even more when you get more than a half inch of ice to an inch of ice.